What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take, brought to you by Chick-fil-A of Cicero and Clay, Burton Ace Hardware, and our terrific friends over at Elevate Fitness of Syracuse. The divisional outlooks continue in the NFL here as a part of the ML Sports Platter, and now we hit the NFC North in terms of the video version on YouTube and elsewhere. And look, the storyline here for me this year is Aaron Rodgers playing without Devontae Adams in Green Bay, um, slash a new identity and DNA for this team. They're going to run the football. They're going to throw, give it to Jones, give it to Dylan. They're going to try to work the play action off of that and see if everybody else, uh, you know, is, is able to catch those balls from uh, Aaron Rodgers. They have a very average uh, receiver core, but they could get pretty good because they're playing with one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Mercedes Lewis, of course, still has plenty of gas left in the tank. I like the O-line. The defense is going to be a top five defense, I think, right out of the gate. Then you have the Bears, a team that, let's face it, they're just trying to, um, you know, continue the progression of Justin Fields, but it's awfully hard to do that when you, you know, don't have Allen Robinson anymore. Uh, you've lost a lot of people. Their offensive line is one of the worst in the NFL. I think the Packers probably win the division at about 11, 12 wins. I think the Bears uh, probably win about five games. Uh, ish this season, four or five ish at the most six, maybe. Uh, you know, Minnesota, a lot of people, including Colin Coward, are looking at them as being uh, the dark horse NFC uh, team to really make, um, um, you know, create some havoc in the regular season and, and perhaps make a Super Bowl run. I am not one of those people because I don't trust Kirk Cousins. I love the playmakers on both sides. I love Justin Jefferson. I think their offensive line has been improved the last couple of years, but I do not like Kirk Cousins in big spots. And then you have the Detroit Lions. There was no better. Uh, team last year with a worse record than Detroit. They were in a lot of close games. They were hanging in there. Dan Campbell bringing that new toughness and uh, edge to the team and uh, the word culture that gets thrown around the NFL so much. He instilled some of that as well. Um, so we'll see what happens, but they're still relying on Jared Goff. Short of playmakers and all the rest, I would expect the Lions to be in that 4-5-6 win territory uh, as well. So NFC North should be the Packers yet again. ML Sports Take here brought to you by Rosie's Corner, Stanley Law Offices, Welch & Company Jewelers, and our great friends at Carvel of North Syracuse. Make sure you stop by and grab your sweet treat today, including ice cream cakes for any occasion at Carvel of North Syracuse. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and as I always tell you, enjoy the games.